I'm Antoinette Nador Volta, Equal Justice Works AmeriCorps Legal Fellow at the Public Law Center. We met Patrick last year at the Orange County Stand Down in August. In my daily works, um, running around, I saw um, signs and billboards and heard it on the radio, Stand Down, Stand Down in Costa Mesa. The Orange County Stand Down is where homeless and at-risk of being homeless veterans go um, over a weekend to get some basic needs and supplements. They have legal aid as is in the bold print. Pro bono legal work, both civil and criminal, food, anything that you can ask for, they have it stand down. Oh, wow, well, I qualify for that. I think I'm gonna go check that out. Patrick told his story, and it really grabbed the hearts um, of all the attorneys. Not only was he employed and wrongfully taken away from his employment and not paid, but they also wrongfully kept his personal belongings. We're talking about my medications, my wheelchair, and everything I've ever owned. And if you took everything I've ever owned, none of it would matter anything to me as much as my beret did. This came to us mainly as a landlord-tenant case and also as a breach of contract, but it was more than that. It was personal. They were holding one of our nation's heroes' personal belongings against his will. I'm used to, to fighting my own battles, um, taking my own struggles on. There's only room for my fists on this sword. Here I am, you know, living on the beach and begging for food here and there. You know, that day comes when the phone rings and there's an email in my box from Antoinette and I'm thinking, okay, this is, we're getting places now. Now I can see the wheels are turning. You know, it's like all of a sudden, I mean, everything is so dark in your world and all of a sudden it's blink. There's a light at the end of the tunnel. There was a lot of trouble with the case given that the landlord was extremely abusive, not only to Patrick, but to our staff as well. And that didn't deter us. In fact, you know, we remained calm. We spoke with the landlord and we made her a very, in my opinion, generous agreement to settle the case. And we did eventually settle the case and get all of Patrick's items returned and his money back. Knowing that you actually have public law center behind you really makes a big difference. What you guys have done for me and the gratitude I have for your company, words can't describe. But I'm surely grateful to you guys for everything you've done for me and the way you've come into my life and helped me out. I'm so grateful and it will also echo the halls of the Long Beach Veterans Hospital as I speak to other veterans. We don't let stories die and your name won't either. Thank you. My name is Patrick Taylor served in the Army 82nd Airborne Division. I am a son, a father, a veteran, a survivor.